Let's get started with animation. Hello folks, this is Maya 2020 and we're at the beginning of the year 2020 and probably if you watch this years later you will think, huh, how boring. Well, I just want to tell you something which is pretty new in Maya 2020. It has to do with the time slider which is this part of the window here and uh, it has to do a little bit with sound. First of all, with something which is not new, this is the Autodesk Knowledge Network. If you want to import a sound into into the timeline, you need to know what platform you're working on, Linux, Windows or Apple Mac OS. And uh, the formats are basically, the supported formats are always the same, AIFF, WAF or BWAF. And only on Apple you can import MP3s, but on macOS you can only drag and drop mp3 files onto the time slider you cannot import them using file import so that's quite tricky and another thing you might keep in mind you cannot import a sound file <laughs> whose file name begins with a number so if you have a file called 22noise.wav you cannot import it it just does not work back to maya uh, something which has changed is you can actually modify the height of the time slider with just dragging here. Well, you can't. Seems to be a bug. On some machines it does work, on other machines it does not. But what you can always do is go to the workspace up here and instead of Maya Classic, you for example choose Animation. And then you see the Graph Editor and the Time Editor here and you can actually resize the time slider now. When you go back to my classic you cannot modify it so it's just sitting there. On some machines you probably can. I think it's a bug in the, in the early versions of uh, 2020. Now I drag and drop a WAF file into that part here. It comes from my desktop and when I play it here you don't hear a thing. And that's a crucial thing which is not new in Maya 2020 either, but um, important. You right mouse click here and you need to go to the playback speed because the standard playback speed, which is very versatile and uh, I use it all the time, is play every frame maximum real time. So it basically means that Maya does not accelerate things too fast, it's maximum real time, but it insists, insists on playing every frame in case of a simulation for example. But for uh, sound you need real time. And now you can hear the sound. I'm drinking something. Doesn't matter really. New in Maya 2020 is that you can set colors here and mark certain areas. So for example if you have a ball falling down here and then it lands on the surface and then it slides on the surface and then it takes off again you can set three parts for the animation so you find them later more easily. Let's say we have an animation uh, of the ball falling from 0 to 30 so what we do is we set the time slider right here at the very beginning and with the key, the shift key, we can mark this section here onto 30. And with this part selected here from 0 or 2 in my case to 30, we go to this new icon here. It has green brackets, that means it's new in Maya 2020. When you click here, you can select a color or choose a new color, I guess. So we can, well, for example, pick this green and create. And now you have this green bar here. Now you do the same here. You click here on frame 30 and with the shift key you go to frame 76 for example. Click here again and use that light blue here and then you have this blue mark. And uh, again I can leave a certain part out if, if I like. And then I mark this part here using this tool here, create 
And now I have three marks for three colors for three regions. It doesn't affect the animation in any way. It's just a, a notification for you to, to know where you are. For example, this part where the ball falls here, where the ball slides. Then we don't know yet what we're going to do here. And then it takes off again. If you want to change the beginning of the sound, it is a little bit tedious. You have to go to the menu and uh, deal with audio, with the audio settings here, right here. You find the options right here. Uh, but um, there's an easier way to do this. And uh, you go to Windows and then you have under Animation Editors the so-called Tracks Editor. The Tracks Editor is a predecessor of the Time Editor, so to say. It's not used, it was, I think, highly unpopular anyway, but you can use it for here. So when I open the Tracks Editor, I have the soundtrack here, and it's basically the sound I just loaded into the time slider. And if you want it to begin later, you just drag it over here and you see it adapts down here. So if you want to have it start at frame 30, for example, where the blue region begins, you just do it here in the tracks editor. So uh, now we have the sound starting at frame 30. And finally, new in my 2020 is this icon here, where you just can change the volume of the sound. And by double clicking, you mute it. And with this pretty trivial information, I leave you for now. Keep in mind, we have uh, about 400 tutorials in this channel, and some are more creative, others are more pragmatic, like this one. Bye bye.